I've got a new acquire power mission. It just appeared. Have you refreshed your money? You have not. Okay. Sorry. I feel like I'm the wealthiest person around because shops only having 5,000 credits. <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. I know some of the other Bethesda games had perks that would unlock merchants having more money, and maybe that's a thing. Nope, that's bribery. Theft, astronomy, commerce. Doesn't make them have more money. I just get better deals, which means my goods would hang around even longer. Outpost management. Constructing an outpost offers its own challenges. Properly managing the outpost takes a special personality type and specialized training. Interesting, but not what I'm looking for. No. Like, if there was something about them having more money, it would be in the social tab almost surely. And it's not. So, I can get better deals on my goods, which means I make more of their 5,000 credits for even cheaper. Or, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. Are you on this floor? I think so. Our newest deputy. I'm gonna use your computer see what the deal is. Uh, personal journal. That seems like a fun thing to read. Not the best date. May 6, 2330. Maybe I shouldn't even be writing this here, but I need to get it off my chest somehow. The day with Leah didn't go well at all. I think we spent three hours together, of which she spent two hours and 58 minutes telling me about how great Solomon Co was. She could have just told me she was already in love and saved me the embarrassment. Of course, Hug is going to ask how it went, and I have to think carefully about what to say since she's the one who set up the date. Maybe I'll just stay single like the Marshal. It's less complicated anyway. Nerves. May 4th, 2330. I can't focus on anything today. I'm just a ball of nerves. Why did I let Helga set me up on that date? Is Leah beautiful? Yes. Is she smart? Very. Am I totally smitten? Maybe. Do I feel even remotely ready for this date? No. What do I wear? What will we talk about? Am I going to bore her to death because all I know is ranger work and crypt cryptography? Can I stop writing pointless journal entries filled with rhetorical questions and get back to work? I guess these are in reverse order. April 30th, 2330. Some genius in the Shaw gang decided that they should start using codes to communicate. Diego brought me one of their one of their slates, and the cipher was so simple, I actually burst out laughing right in the middle of the cantina. Almost made Emma spit out her drink. When will they learn? Maybe I should tell them to up their game and at least try to give me a challenge. Alright, and then recent messages. Uh, I don't know if these are going to be in reverse order as well. You, Alex Shahid from Helga Dubray. Fingers crossed. Tonight's the big night. I hope you're excited. Now remember what I said. Don't be nervous. You're a great guy and I'm sure it'll go really well. You and Leah are two of the smartest people I know. So I have no doubt you'll find a lot to talk about. You've got this. New syndicate in play. All Rangers, subject new syndicate in play from Daniel Blake. I want you to all to keep your eyes and ears open. I've been going over reports from local security both here and in Neon, and there's a disturbing trend. It seems like smuggling is on the rise in a big way, and there's more than one faction involved. It seems like we might have a new player looking to move in. We can probably expect to see some interfaction conflict that could spill over and put innocent lives at risk. If you learn anything that could be useful, let me know right away. Autumn's already looking in into it. But leads are scarce so far. Another false alarm. All Rangers from Emma Wilcox. Another false alarm. Just so you all know, that report we got about the farm in Polovo turned out to be another false alarm. Local security says they headed out to take a look. A look. And the man they talked to said nothing was wrong. Funny thing is, the original call came in from a woman. And when security asked to talk to her, the man who they'd met said she went off world to visit family. Normally I wouldn't think twice about it. 
but I'd read a similar report only a month earlier where the call had come in from an elderly man, only local security didn't see anyone that, that old, and when they asked, they were told he'd gone on vacation. Could be nothing, I know, but if anyone hears about trouble on a farm, let me know. Couldn't hurt to check it out. That's definitely related to what we're dealing with. So, someone's buying out a bunch of random farms, forcing the people to move out, moving someone else in, and by the time people come in to check on it, someone else is there. Interesting. To Alex Sahid from Diego Monroe. Shepard was looking for you. Shepard was here looking for you. He said your shipment of components and crypt cryptography slates came in, and you can pick them up during shop hours. Good news. All Rangers, Evan Wilcox, good news. For those of you who haven't heard, we got some good news. The dock has approved Helga for a limited duty on site here at The Rock. With some luck, she'll be back in the field in a few weeks, but we want to take things slow and take all the necessary precautions. In the meantime, let's all give her some encouragement and support. No ranger wants to be stuck indoors while there are people out there who need our help, but sometimes that's the way it's got to be. I know you'll all be there for her uh, while she heals up. And recruiting reminder. All rangers from Daniel Blake. Recruiting. I know you all heard me say it before, but the council would really like to see us bolster our ranks. So here's my obligatory reminder to keep a lookout for anyone you think might be ranger material. There's fewer of us now than there have been since I joined up, and I don't have to tell you all that was a long time ago. Fact is, the Freestar Collective ain't exactly safer by the day. There's always been more trouble than there's been rangers to handle it, but that's more true now than it ever, ever has been. We need to help, and we need it soon. Alright. Is this the same computer? No. Uh, assuming these are in April 20th, May 4th, May 6th. Yeah, they're in reverse order. So let's read them in the order they were written. April 20th, 2330. There are moments in your life that make you stop and really think about what you've got. For me, one of the... One of those moments was about three seconds before my crash landing. I didn't know if I'd survive. It really felt like a 50-50 shot. What I remember the most about that moment is just an overall feeling of gratitude for this job, for the other rangers, and for every inch of this big, ugly, smelly, wonderful town I call home. Note to self, never ever lose this that feeling of gratitude. In fact, that's my new life goal. Die smiling. May 4th, 2330. Can't stop smiling today. Why, you ask? Of course, I realize I'm basically talking to myself here, but... Uh, I've earned a little gloating, because Leah agreed to go on a date with Alex. Yes, my month-long project has finally come to fruition, and love is surely in the air. If this works out, I think I'll ask them to name one of their inevitable kids after me. Well, maybe not if it's a boy. Maybe then I'd have to... It'd have to be a similar name, like Helgo or Helborg. On second thought, no, those are terrible. Grounded. May 6, 2330. Serves me right for getting my hopes up. I was all set to get back to work, and the doc says she won't approve me for field duty. I feel fine. I'm not even sore anymore. My breathing's more than good enough to work. Heck, the job's mostly just flying from place to place and talking to people. It's bad enough I was laid up in bed for so long. I guess the wait is already is always worst right at the end. Whatever it is, I'm totally stir-crazy here. Poor doc. I'm probably driving her crazy. Just need to hold it together a little longer. And recent messages. Um, those all, no, get well soon, I think is, uh, to Helga de Bray, heard you're finally up and about. Like they say, any landing you can walk away from, right? You take it easy. I know this recovery is going to drive you crazy. If you need to blow off some steam, I'm here. We can do a little Ashta target practice on the wall if you want, or just grab a beer and talk about the marshal behind his back. Whatever it takes. Get well soon, Armanita. Um, and latest test results, I think, is also new. Helga, some good news, and some you won't like, but I want to focus on the good. You're making great progress in your recovery. In fact, you're ahead of schedule. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. Unfortunately, I'm still not ready to, to approve you for a return to field duty. I know that's not what you wanted to hear, but there's still the risk of a setback or complication, and I want to be on hand in the event something comes up. Just stay the course and be patient. All signs point to you being back in the field sooner rather than later. Alright, now that I've read all of your journals, what's up? Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. 
Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? It's a terrible place. Uh, it's my kind of place. Didn't really care for it. I'm not here to, to make small talk. What's stopping you from traveling to Neon? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my Eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great. But at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. Party capital of the galaxy. Sure. Uh, didn't really care for it. What? You serious? Well, that's a first. Well, I guess not everyone likes to have a good time. Speaking of which, on to business. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Of course. Give the encrypted slate. I need your help with the encryption on this slate. Give the encrypted slate. Range of price says that you can crack this encrypted slate. Or give the slate. I want the slate unlocked as soon as possible. I need your help with the encryption on this. Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. Counting on you, Alex. Have fun with that. You don't get out much, do you? How long will it take you to break the encryption? It'll take as long as it takes. You can't rush a job like this. I was just asking, not what trying to I rush. What I promise you, though, is that it'll go a lot faster if I don't have to answer silly questions. Fair. Well, you don't get out much, do you? Oh, why should I? Nothing but dirt, cold air, and ash are waiting for me out there. I like my nice, cozy, antisocial office space much more. Ha, ah, ah. Well, I'm counting on you. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Ouch. Your betters. That's how you're choosing to phrase that. Alright. What is my next quest? Talk to Daniel Blake? Who was Daniel Blake? Does that name sound familiar? Where are the stairs? <laughs> That's the stairs up. Well, to get up here. Stairs down from this floor. Hang on. I'm super lost. There we go. Not on the top floor, so... The Marshal. Why didn't they just say talk to the Marshal? I can look at your computer, too? Recruitment and retirement. Let's read that first. Marshal, it is the opinion of the council that you need to prioritize recruiting. I'll say it plain. We need more rangers. Your report on the rise in smuggling makes that plain. Now, I don't mean to disparage the work that you and your rangers have done. I know you're all doing your best, but I can remember a time where we were twice as many as you, and it, there were twice as many of you as there are today. I'd like to see those days return, and so would the people of the Free Star Collective. I'd also like you to think about your successor. Let's be honest, Marshal. Neither of us is getting any younger. Surely you've earned the right to hang up your spurs with pride and enjoy a well-earned retirement. I look forward to seeing you at the next council gathering. Okay, and your computer. Do you have anything embarrassing? Retirement. May 1st, 2330. Seems like every time I get a slate from one of the governors, they've just got to bring up retirement. We ain't trying to push you into it, they all say. We're just looking to the future. Got to be prepared, after all. Feels like I've read some version of that half a dozen times in the past month alone. I've got no illusions that I'm the best marshal the Rangers ever had. But darn, am I doing such a bad job that they want me gone? Or is it something else? No way I'd believe Emma would go behind my back and talk to the council. She jokes about it, sure, but I trust her like family. What do I even do anyway? Am I supposed to set up some farm on my, my own and while it way my last days watching the crops grow until the sun goes down? Tech with that. Truth is, I live for the job and nothing else. When I can't do that anymore, I'll hang up my spurs. The governors can wait. Autumn. 
May 3rd, 2330. I'm starting to worry about Autumn. As much as I'd like to deny it, Emma might be right. Maybe tracking down the new smuggling syndicate we've been getting reports about was too big an assignment. She's young, headstrong, and ain't the best at keeping in touch while she's out in the field, so the long silence might mean she's in some kind of trouble. For now, I'm going to sit tight and hope we get some kind of word soon. Emma always says we've got to have faith in the people we give a badge to, so for now I'll stay the course. But if another week goes by without news, I might need to send someone out to track her down. I ain't much for superstition or luck, but I'll cross my fingers anyway. And recruitment. Sent around the usual message to the others about recruiting. I hate to nag, but I don't know what else to do. We're way below where I'd like to where I'd like us to be, and if there really is another smuggling syndicate setting up shop in the Freestar Collective, we're going to be spread dangerously thin. At this point, I'm ready to accept any half de halfway decent candidate who walks into the rock. Emma's got an eye for talent, and I trust her to weed out anyone that's unfit. If it gets the council off my back, I ain't going to complain. And recent messages. New syndicate in play, another pulse alarm, good news. Is it also to all rangers? Helga's status. Marshall, I'm happy to inform you that Helga is making good progress and her recovery is ahead of schedule. The worst is behind her and I expect no lingering after effects from the injury. However, I'm not yet ready to clear her for field duty. We're still in a window where there's a risk of aggravation and I want her to stay in Aquila City for observation, including a continuation of her daily checkups. She seemed to take the news well, but it's clear she's eager to get back out there. A little support and encouragement from you and the other rangers could help ease the burden. Shaw Gang Activity to Daniel Blake. Marshall, just wanted to let you know that some of Shaw's boys are in town. They ain't caused any trouble yet, but we both know it's only a matter of time. One of them we ID'd as Jed Bullock, a new recruit with a penchant for drinking and doing act and doing acting up. The others who were with him, we didn't recognize, but we figured them for green based on how they followed Jed around. Seems he's the leader of the crew. That's all I've got for now. I figured with your experience going up against the Shaw gang, you ought to know they were around. And recruiting reminder to all rangers. We've already read that. Okay, now to write your journals and whatnot. What's up? Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? I was able to track down the thief with Ranger Price's help. I did, yeah. She's a shipjacker named Grace Early. Yeah, but I did all the work. Ranger Price wasn't much help. I was able to track down the thief with Ranger Price's help. Glad you got a chance to meet him. Of course. Sounds like you're making real progress. Thanks, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Thank me when I've taken down the first. I think I've more than earned a promotion. No, I'm not going to say that. Uh, thanks, I think I'm getting the hang of this. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. What did you learn from this starship thief? Scored big time, got the names of two high-ranking first members, Maya Cruz and Marco. The first has a money man called Marco, and also someone named Maya Cruz. Uh, not much, just a couple of names. Marco handles the money, and there's Maya Cruz. I've got the middle one. Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. Do you? I serve with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Uh, yeah. You think you know who Marco is? There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk, the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. What else can you tell me about Maya Cruz? They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. Okay. Well, I need some information to track them down. Like what? Where would someone go for long-term medical treatment? Marco's keeping his location a secret. How can I find him? Most likely place would be the clinic. 
It's in Free Star Collective space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. And Mark was keeping his location a secret. How can I find him? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Okay. That's enough to go on. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't going to get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good morning, do. deputy. All right. 7,000 credits. Nice. All right, so we probably have, yeah, two options. Go to Red Mile to track down uh, Marco Grazzini, or go to the clinic to track down Maya Cruz. Let's go to the clinic. Should be easier to find her because she's might be hard work, but it sure Sick beats. and locked up in a facility in a clinic. Outside the wall, things get dicey. Asta are no joke. Even for us. Yeah, as opposed to the smuggler who's got tons of money and has been hiding out, he's probably a lot harder to find. I was hoping I could make it onto that roof. You have a nice day now. Let's see how challenging this ends up being. Because they say the private place with lots of security. So I hope I don't have to shoot up a bunch of doctors. Because that would be not great. Dock at the clinic, the best medical facility in the settled systems. Good. Dad, what does superfluous mean? I just read it in my book. It means, um, more than enough. As in, Cora Co has a superfluous amount of books. <laughs> <laughs> no! I won't have more than enough until I have a super duperfluous amount of books. Not how that works. I do appreciate the chatter. Like when I had everyone else on board, there wasn't all the random chatter. But now that it's Sam and Cora, we do get periodic random comments, which are amusing. I guess these doctors aren't going to be thrilled with me poking around, but we shall see. Ma'am, I'm just a courier. I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? 
I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake, and the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. So this clinic is having problem with supplies and the clinic on uh, Neon was having supply issues. It's a grav drive. I literally can't get here any faster. <laughs> I hate this delivery run. Can't ever get here fast enough. All right, you've got 5,000 credits. Nice. Cargo hold. Space suits. All right. Do you need all of them? Not ammo. Space suits. I want to keep Constellation, even though I'm probably going to accidentally sell it one of these times without paying attention. Just the constellation pack left. Helmets. Thirty-five. First officer outfit is that? Oh, that's the first officer outfit for their gang. Twenty-seven. Oh, that is ugly. Ranger Deputy Uniform. Eh. I'll hold on to it. Why not? That? Yes, I need all of this. Uh, cargo. Go to my inventory. Store the Constellation. Constellation. All these random helmets. And the random apparel. Okay. Made a bit more money. Hey, what can I do for you? You're just ship services. Ain't no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough light traffic as it is. Ah, there's a roof, man. Problem? You know no. You go out there with no helmet on, your head will totally explode. True story. Sure. Here's two free star security guys. So is there a difference between free star free star security and whatever they were talking about when saying they only have a so dozen free star people? It feels like I've been waiting forever. Maybe. You have turrets watching over this place. Need something? That is amazing for a clinic. It'd be enough to know that the Rangers are keeping an eye on us, but to have it be my own husband. So come. That's where I'm going. Okay. You. I'm looking for Maya. I'm just here to keep the peace. You need medical help. I'm the last person you want to talk to. Okay. Ben Armistead. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yeah. yeah, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Okay. Great, that'll save us both some time. Then you know I'm tracking down members of the first. Good, because I don't want to waste time explaining to you. What does he say about me? Well, now that'd be telling, wouldn't it? It would. It ain't anything bad, if that's what you're wondering. You just keep your mind on the task at hand. Okay. Uh, then you know I'm tracking down members of the first. And having some success, by the sound of it. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. How you doing, old man? Well, I'll be a Dust Wrangler's cousin. Sam Coe. Oh, it's been too damn long. Why, Cora must be, what, nine, ten years old by now? I wish. She's 12. Almost a teenager? My goodness. 
And here I thought I had enough gray hairs already. So, are you back? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. I'm just out here to watch the deputies back and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I see. Well, back to the matter at hand, then. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? I think so. Uh, she had some kind of urgent medical issue, so I'm confident she's here. That's what I intend to find out. Might be she needs surgery, and I'm not sure why. Well, I think you made the right decision to come here. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. Yep. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, <laughs> given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Hopefully they're willing to talk. But just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. It is strange. Much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the council of governments. Before you keep talking, security incident reports. Uh, start with number 12. Filed by Jay Walsh, security staff. Incident report, Candace Doolin, patient, filed complaint. Patient filed a complaint and insisted on speaking to security about a lack of personalized attention and to inform us that her symptoms were not being taken seriously enough. I informed the patient that that was a medical matter and not a security issue. The patient said she was aware of that, but did not feel the medical staff were listening to her concerns and had nowhere left to turn. Spent an hour listening to the patient, which seemed to calm her down. Filed by P. Taro, security staff. Uh, incident report, Rebecca Armistead, RN. Nurse Armistead filed a report that a patient in the VIP was found in an off-limits area. Patient identified as Catalina Rivera was found to be inside a serve shuttle and was asked to return to her room. Patient cooperated and apologized, explaining she had become lost. Jay Walsh, security staff, incident reporter, Dr. Titus Cassidy. Dr. Cassidy claimed that a patient in the VIP wing became confrontational and threatened violence when he tried to administer medication. I spoke to the patient, Catalina Ribby Rivera, and calmed her down. She agreed to take the medication. Recent messages from Rebecca Armistead. Did you hear about the bank heist in Aquila City? I just read about it on the news site. I hope nobody was we know was hurt or killed. Sounds like the Shaw Gang was behind it. No surprise there. I sure don't miss living on Aquila. I'll never get, uh, I'll never take the peace and quiet of the clinic for granted again. Dr. Tice Cassidy. To all staff, we've had a few recent incidents of personnel entering in the VIP wing without authorization. Please respect the privacy of our VIP guests and do not enter the VIP wing without express authorization, no matter what. See me if you have questions. From Ari Miller. The last carrier ship from Aquila brought a slate for you. You were out of your office, so I left it on your desk. A slate? Might want to check it out. From Rebecca Armistead. Don't forget to put that vacation request. Uh, it's been too long since we had a break. Can't wait for until we have some quiet time at the cabin on Montar Montara Luna. I'm going to fish all day and then all night. Well, you'll see. Montara Luna was where this started. Rebecca Armistead. I don't know, that feels related, but I'm not sure. So do you have a slate on your desk? No. I don't know. Hey there, Ari. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who you might be a patient. Just say the word. I'll see what I can do. One of the docs well, will get I'll you. I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else? I'll be in my office. 